got a couple more fish habitats that an agatized coral I've had for a while. Started cleaning them up and broke one of them open. Make like a little cool little caves for little tiny baby fish when I go to start breeding little baby uh, cuppies. I'm gonna get a breeder pair and start having see little babies swimming around. They're gonna have a cool little place to hide. It's gonna be beautiful for them. Look at this. Look how delicately glittery it is. Wait a minute. Let me focus it. Give me a second, I can focus this in on there. This camera doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. Light balance up. Pretty, huh? Try to get a real good close up so y'all can see what it's gonna look like. That's gonna be a little baby fish's habitat. There's several of them. They can all hide up in there. Be little caves. A little bit of privacy for a little baby fish. And it'll be backlit like that where the light will be able to shine in there when they have a little night light going on in there. It's all glittery back up in there. Get some light up in there. They come, they're probably going to enjoy it. I don't know. I don't know if fish really enjoy their life. But I know that my fish are going to be happy and probably going to have some of the wildest environment that any fish has ever lived in. <laughs> All these crystals. Let's tour through some of my crystals. Been laying out some of my cr cool crystals lately. Uh, couple of days just sitting around with quarantine we'll look at a few of them let's see there's some more agatized corals get a good close up of some of these There's some guitar picks I made out of Agatha's coral. Those are real pretty. See the light shine through them. Some old Agatha's coral I've had for a long time. It's turquoise, Herkimer diamond. Some really pretty ones here. There's some real pretty red coral. There's some more agatized coral. It's got the, the druzy crystals on the inside. All crystally. There's Batman. It's a crystal I got. It's got a Batman mask in there. Some weird looking like Batman. There's an arrowhead I made out of coral, but I ended up breaking it because I wore it all the time. But you can see the polyps right in the stone where it's made out of agatized corals. 
There's some amethyst, some Australian amethyst. There's some more coral. Come out of one of these rocks over here. Like that one right there. Real glittery one right there. It's hard to see that. There you go. Cigarette ashes. <laughs> Some amethyst back there. Amethyst geodes. There's all kinds of. Got some obsidian boulders. I think they're volcanic bombs. And it comes flying out of a volcano when it explodes. There's some Labradorite right there. There's a piece of Labradorite. See all the weird colors in it? Pretty neat colors in it. There's a skull out of calcite and some diamonds I made for the eyes. I made this skull a long time ago. I used to wear it everywhere around. But I retired it because I almost broke it. I kind of broke it on the back. It's got a little smash in. It's like the back of his head's kind of smashed in a little bit. Right there. So I was like, man, before I break that thing, I wore it too long. I wore that thing probably a good 15 years. All around, constantly around my neck. I never took it off. There's some purple coral. Agatized coral. That's some pretty purple right there. I don't know if you can see that, how purple that is. There's some agatized coral jersey right there. 